Hi, hello, I'm Val or Space Valkyries. I'm a queer variety streamer and sci-fi fantasy writer, and today we're taking a peek at some of the games in the Akupara five-year anniversary event, which has sales and demos and cool stuff like that for literally all of the games they've published. These are just the ones that made the biggest impression on me though. I'll provide links to the event in the description below. But first up we have Behind the Frame, the finest scenery. Behind the Frame is a stunningly gorgeous interactive puzzle game with a Ghibli movie-esque art style. It's about an aspiring artist trying to get her art accepted into a New York gallery, which as a writer whose industry is also based in New York City, uh, wow, do I feel a bond and understanding there. <laughs> that creative want and dream of making it is so real. I don't want to say too much more about this one. It's short, like maybe two hours max, but it's really beautiful. One puzzle in particular stumped me enough to Google it, but it was really straightforward otherwise and a very chill experience. Honestly, on sale, it's absolutely worth it, and it was such a whimsical, romantic, and, you know, artistic experience. It left me emotional and full of feelings. Also, the painting was super satisfying and just, uh, I don't know, I could just stand and spin around the camera in some of the settings for hours. It's just such a pretty game. That's it. All right, total tone shift time. <laughs> the Metronomicon is a rhythm game with a twist. You're a group of adventurers and you have to switch between your party members and utilize their abilities by pulling off some sick dance moves to kill enemies and beat levels. And I love rhythm games. I was a big Guitar Hero and DDR player back in, uh, well, it was a long time ago, but anyway, rhythm game's fun. <laughs> the songs are pretty neat. Uh, I recognize a few from DJ Cutman and Aus, uh, five, uh, Ox? I don't know how to say your name out loud, I'm sorry, but your music is great. It's a lot of rock and EDM and all are total jams. I'm not a fan of some of the stereotyping of the baddies, that's like my singular, very notable complaint, like don't do that. <laughs> uh, oh, and I couldn't figure out controller support, but I, I turned the game back on and it said to plug in your controller before you... <laughs> Keyboard keys weren't bad though, um, and I, I figured that out okay, and I, I still had a good time with it. I just, I'm really amused that in, in the making of this video, I went back and watched the footage of me playing this game, and, and there, there was just very clear text. <laughs> Plug it in before you turn on the game. <laughs> There's a lot of challenges for extra items, and medium and hard difficulty are very much going to flex your rhythm game skills. I played most of it on medium and had a good time. There's also DLC challenge packs with different songs too, which is cool. So yeah, if you like rhythm games and want to try a slightly different RPG-esque twist on the genre, this game is for you. And now, from sick riffs to feelings and emotions, it's time for Mutazione. Mutazione is an absolutely memorable, story-rich experience. I will say it definitely has some content warnings for more serious subjects, um, like dealing with an ill grandfather, especially in these COVID times, just that might be a little rough for some folks. Um, there's also a character with relationship troubles and like a jerk boyfriend, or I mean a jerk boyfriend is kind of, he's a jerk boyfriend. Um, <laughs> and just a lot of like general life problems that are tackled in respectful and thoughtful ways, but it's definitely something to keep note of, or to make note of. Kai goes to visit her sickly grandfather who lives in the Mutazione, a place hit by a strange meteor, a meteor? Meteor. <laughs> that caused everyone and everything in that area to, well, mutate, and the zone has been feared and cut off ever since. From there, things get introspective and intriguing, the writing is gorgeous, the music is soothing and impactful, there's a gardening minigame, it's just got a lot of neat elements. Mutazione is one of those, 
have a hard time explaining to you what this game is exactly, <laughs> but the vibes are immaculate <laughs> type narrative focused games. I haven't finished it yet, but I've played through at least half of it and have adored every second. It's just so memorable and unique and very surreal. Uh, it's very point and click, which I, I played most of this with just my mouse, just clicking everything, which is really nice. Um, super dialogue heavy as well. You get two response options at times in conversation, and the dialogue itself is very believable. If you've played Gone Home, which came out earlier this year, the story-focused surreal energy is absolutely adjacent. Except the monsters aren't like fictional or surreal or questionable. You're in an actual zone full of mutated humans and animals and other creatures, and it's a pretty chill time. <laughs> This is one of those games that's absolutely worth it if you like well-written, narrative-focused games with a surreal aspect, and I have nothing more to add to that. And that's it for the full games that I played that are part of this event. But if you want, you can check out demos for unreleased games like Absolute Tactics, a tactics game uh, that's kind of Fire Emblem adjacent, and Cardboard Kings, which is like Magic the Gathering shop owning simulator, which is pretty fun. Both of which are really neat. There's also a demo for a game called Spinch, <laughs> and I will never not laugh at that because it makes me think of that Spinch meme. Y'all you'll, you'll know, it's an older meme, but it still checks out. <laughs> Unlike Absolute Tactics and Cardboard Kings though, Spinch is already out, so you know. Again, links will be in the description to all of that, so no worries there. So yeah, again, there's a lot more um, that's part of this event. These are just the games that really stuck out to me the most and are to my tastes and preferences. Honestly, Akupara Games has some pretty solid hits in their roster, and I appreciate getting to take a peek at so many of their games for their five-year anniversary event. I also got to be part of the Indie Houses event that they were also a part of, which you can go check out that video, which has a ton more awesome demos and games to look out for as well. And it's a joy to get to celebrate Akupara's work. I can't wait to perceive all the games they come out with in the future. And thank you for watching this. <laughs> if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at navigating which games you want to try out from this event, be sure to like and subscribe. I usually post videos every other Thursday or every Thursday if I'm having a good energy time because you know, that good old chronic illness life. And if you want to support me, you can become a member on Kofi. 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 Yeah, <laughs> good sneak peeks and early access to videos as well as monthly updates and other fun stuff. Till next time.